sausage making begins with selecting quality meat, usually pork, beef, or chicken, fat, and spices. After the meat and fat are ground, they are mixed with spices. This mixture is filled into natural or synthetic intestines. The stuffed sausages are tied into desired sizes and sometimes cooked or smoked. In the final step, the sausages are cooled and packaged. This process may vary depending on the type of sausage and the method of making it. Cheddar cheese production begins with pasteurizing and homogenizing milk, then adding bacteria to ferment it. Rennet is added to coagulate the milk into curds and whey. The curds are cut, cooked, and stirred to remove whey, then undergo cheddaring to develop texture and flavor. After milling and salting, the curds are pressed into molds and aged to achieve the desired flavor. Canned meat production involves selecting quality meat, seasoning it, and cooking it. The cooked meat is then canned with a broth or sauce, sealed, and pressure cooked to ensure safety and long shelf life. After cooling, the cans are labeled and ready for distribution. This process makes canned meat a convenient, shelf-stable food option. Sunflower oil is made by cleaning harvested sunflower seeds and crushing them to extract the oil. This crude oil is then refined to remove impurities and deodorized to eliminate any unwanted odors, ensuring a neutral taste. The final step, winterization, removes waxes that could cloud the oil at low temperatures. In the pomegranate juice production process, ripe pomegranates are harvested, cleaned, and sorted. The fruit is then pressed to extract the juice, taking care not to break the seeds and avoid bitterness. The juice is filtered for smoothness and pasteurized for safety, preserving its natural flavor. Finally, it's bottled, sealed, and labeled, ready for consumption. In a bread factory, the journey begins with mixing basic ingredients, flour, water, yeast, and salt to form dough. This dough then undergoes fermentation, where it rises and develops flavor thanks to the yeast. After the first rise, the dough is punched down to remove excess gas, then shaped into loaves. These loaves are baked in large ovens until they turn golden brown, achieving the perfect crust and soft interior. 
Post baking, the bread is cooled, possibly sliced, and then packaged for distribution. This streamlined process transforms simple ingredients into the delicious, fluffy bread that ends up on your table. Shrimp processing starts with the catch being rapidly transported to the facility for freshness. There, shrimp undergo a quality check before being iced to slow spoilage. The next steps involve peeling and deveining, either by machine or hand, ensuring they're ready for cooking. Shrimp may also be sorted by size to suit various recipes. To preserve freshness for those traveling far, a quick freeze in a blast freezer is employed. Finally, the shrimp are carefully packaged, labeled, and shipped out to retailers, restaurants, and kitchens globally. This intricate process ensures the shrimp that end up on your plate are fresh, flavorful, and of the highest quality. Egg processing starts with collecting eggs from farms, followed by cleaning to remove any dirt. They are then candled to check for internal defects or cracks. After inspection, eggs are sorted by size and weight, packed into cartons, and labeled. The final step is refrigeration to keep them fresh until they reach your kitchen. This streamlined process ensures the eggs you buy are clean, safe, and sorted for your convenience. In salad processing, freshly harvested greens and vegetables are washed and dried to remove any dirt. They're then mixed according to specific salad recipes. The final step involves packaging the salads in a way that maintains freshness without preservatives, using a modified atmosphere technique. This entire process ensures that the salads are clean, fresh, and ready to eat by the time they reach your table, making it convenient to enjoy a healthy meal. In a biscuit factory, the process begins with mixing ingredients like flour, sugar, and butter to form a dough. This dough is rolled, cut into shapes, and then baked until golden and crunchy. Some biscuits may receive additional treatments like chocolate coating or sugar dusting. In producing Kit Kats, the journey begins with crafting crisp wafers, which are then alternately layered with smooth chocolate. These layers are fully enveloped in a rich chocolate coating in a delightful cascade. Once coated, the bars undergo a cooling phase to solidify and achieve the distinctive snap. 
The finishing step involves wrapping the bars, making them ready for chocolate enthusiasts to enjoy. This meticulous process guarantees the unique texture and taste that Kit Kat lovers cherish. The ice cream factory process starts with mixing cream, sugar, milk, and flavors. This mix is pasteurized to kill bacteria, then cooled. Next, it's frozen while being whipped to add air, making it creamy and light. Mix-ins like chocolate chips or fruits are folded in. The final product is packed into containers, sealed, and frozen, ready to be enjoyed. This streamlined process transforms basic ingredients into the delightful ice cream we all love. Here, the meat is ground to achieve the perfect fat to lean ratio, ensuring juicy burgers. Seasonings are mixed in, adding flavor to the ground meat before it's shaped into patties. These patties are then flash frozen to preserve freshness and flavor, ready to be delivered to restaurants and stores. This process ensures that delicious, high quality meat makes its way from farm to your burger bun. Hamburger bun production begins with mixing ingredients like flour, yeast, sugar, and water to create dough. This dough is then kneaded until smooth and left to rise, allowing it to develop flavor and texture. After rising, the dough is divided into small portions, shaped into buns, and given a final proof to puff up. Fried potatoes are made by peeling and cutting potatoes, blanching them to remove starch, and drying them off. They're then fried until crispy, seasoned to taste, and packaged. This efficient process turns potatoes into a tasty, crunchy snack. An automatic crepe maker factory machine is a specialized piece of equipment designed for making large quantities of crepes quickly and efficiently. These machines are typically used in commercial kitchens or food manufacturing facilities where high volumes of crepes are required. Automatic crepe maker factory machines typically consist of a flat cooking surface, a batter dispenser, and a conveyor belt that transports the crepes through the machine. Chips factory machines typically consist of several components, including a potato washing and peeling machine, a potato slicer, a fryer, and a seasoning or packaging machine. 
The potatoes are first washed and peeled, then sliced into thin, uniform pieces. The slices are then fried in oil until they are crispy and golden brown. Finally, the chips are seasoned and packaged for distribution. Chips factory machines typically consist of several components, including a potato washing and peeling machine, a potato slicer, a fryer, and a seasoning or packaging machine. The potatoes are first washed and peeled, then sliced into thin, uniform pieces. The slices are then fried in oil until they are crispy and golden brown. Finally, the chips are seasoned and packaged for distribution. These machines are generally designed to process large volumes of cucumbers quickly and efficiently, which is essential for commercial or industrial settings where high volumes of product are required. Some cucumber factory machines are designed specifically for pickling cucumbers, which require a different processing method compared to fresh cucumbers. These machines are generally designed to process large volumes of green peppers quickly and efficiently, which is essential for commercial or industrial settings where high volumes of product are required. Candy factory machines may also come with additional features such as monitoring and control systems to ensure consistent quality and minimize waste. Candy factory machines can produce a wide variety of candies, including hard candies, gummies, caramels, chocolates, and more. A meat factory machine is a specialized piece of equipment designed for processing meat in large-scale manufacturing settings. These machines are typically used in commercial or industrial operations where high volumes of meat need to be cleaned, trimmed, deboned, ground, packaged, or otherwise processed. A cake factory machine is a specialized piece of equipment designed for manufacturing cakes in a large-scale setting. These machines are typically used in commercial or industrial operations where high volumes of cake need to be produced.
Food machinery is designed to be efficient and increase the production rate of food products, which is essential in commercial or industrial settings. They are also designed to meet food safety regulations and hygiene standards to ensure the safety and quality of the food products produced. Today, we're showcasing some of the most amazing crab catching and hunting moments from fishermen all around the world. Crab fishing is a popular and challenging sport requiring skill, patience, and determination. In this video, we're highlighting some of the most impressive crab catching moments that will leave you in awe. From casting nets to setting traps, watch as these fishermen bring in huge hauls of crabs, showcasing their expertise and determination. Whether it's a lone fisherman in a small boat or a group of friends working together, these moments are truly incredible. In this video, we'll explore the process of catching, processing, and packaging crabs from start to finish. You'll see the latest technology and techniques used to make sure that each crab is of the highest quality while ensuring the safety and sustainability of the industry. From the bustling factory floor to the state-of-the-art packaging facility, this video will give you a comprehensive look at the crab industry and the amazing products it produces. So sit back, relax and enjoy this tour of a crab factory. You'll be amazed at the technology, skill and passion that goes into producing the crab products we all love. Harvesting of fish to the final packaging will give you an inside look at the steps involved and the technology used to ensure high quality fish products. From the moment the fish is caught, it's quickly processed and packaged to maintain its freshness. Modern fish factories use state of the art equipment to clean, gut, and fillet the fish with precision. The filleted fish then undergoes various steps of quality control, including temperature checks and inspection for any signs of spoilage. Next, the fish is stored in special refrigerated containers until it's ready for packaging. The packaging process is designed to protect the fish and extend its shelf life using materials that prevent oxygen and moisture from penetrating and damaging the product.
We're exploring the chicken factory and production process that brings us the chicken meat we consume on a daily basis. From the hatchery to the final product, we'll take you through each step of the process and show you how modern technology has revolutionized the industry. At the chicken factory, the birds go through several stages of processing, starting with stunning and slaughter. The birds are then plucked and eviscerated, removing their feathers and internal organs. The next step is inspection, where each bird is checked for any signs of disease or contamination. Salmon is one of the most popular types of fish in the world, and for good reason. Not only is it delicious, but it's also packed with essential nutrients that are good for our health. I end this video, we'll be taking a tour of a salmon fish factory and exploring the production process from start to finish. You'll see how the salmon are raised, fed, and processed to ensure that they are of the highest quality, from the hatchery to the packing and shipping. We'll show you the steps involved in getting this delicious fish from the sea to your plate. We'll also touch on the importance of sustainable salmon farming practices and how this industry is working to reduce its impact on the environment. In this video, we'll take you on a tour of a salt cod factory, showing you the entire production process from start to finish. You'll see how the fresh cod is transformed into this iconic ingredient through the use of salt and drying. From the processing of the fresh cod to the salting and drying process, we'll take a closer look at the steps involved in producing this traditional food. We'll also discuss the history and cultural significance of salt cod, and how it has played a role in the diets of people all over the world.